Scott Belbin says, okay, I have a question. iPad or Chromebook? I know you yourself just received your Chromebook and also used an iPad. So which of the two is the best user experience for you? I'm using an iPad myself, but I do find the Chromebook interesting. Excellent question, Scott. Thank you for asking it. And I've talked about this on the show a couple times before, but since you showed up for the live show, I'm going to answer it again. I do have a full video on my website called iPad versus Tablets versus Laptops, and it goes into great detail over the comparison of all three technologies because I've used all three technologies. Now, your question is specifically between the Chromebook or the iPad. And it's an excellent question because here's the thing. Both of them are completely different user experiences. So let's start with the Chromebook. The Chromebook essentially is a browser, as we know. We've talked about this on the show a number of times before. It's just a web browser. That's all it is. It's not trying to be anything else. It's not trying to, like the pawn star stay, it's not trying to act like it's a laptop. It's not. It's not trying to pretend it's anything other than a browser. That's what it is. It's what it's always been advertised as. It's what it's still being advertised as. So the question is, Will a Chromebook work for you? Well, you do what I call the Chrome test. And the Chrome test is when you sit down and you try to do all of the tasks you would do on your laptop or your tablet just from your Chrome web browser. For two weeks, try to do everything you would normally do. If there's something you can't do, you go to the Chrome web store, you try to find an app that will do it for you. If after two weeks you can do your entire job, you may be surprised, I certainly was. If you can do your entire job from Chrome web store apps, inside your Chrome browser, then a Chromebook is a great fit for you, and it's only 200 bucks, right? An Acer C720 is only $200. If you are using a tablet right now and you're wondering, should I be using a Chromebook? Well, see, the great thing about tablet is the app market. That's the biggest thing with the tablet market, is you have a slew of apps available at your fingertips that have a vast array of capabilities, depending on what you're trying to do. So you need to decide whether or not these apps are something you can live with or not. And you need to decide whether or not these apps will be a good fit with a browser replacement on the Chromebook. So in other words, you're going to have to find a Chromebook replacement for the apps that you use on the, on the iPad. Now the reason I love the Chromebook way more than my iPad is because most of what I do for my job and most of what I do on the Internet, I do through a web browser. So when I started using apps on my tablet, the apps suck. The apps suck, guys. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but, but the apps on your phone when trying to use it on a bigger screen, they're so limited. Like using Google Plus on your tablet, yeah, you, you can do some basic things. You can type on your screen and all that, and you can go in there and you can add photos. You can access your drive, but it's very clunky. It is. I, I hate to say this, but when you're sitting in front of a computer with a mouse and a keyboard and everything, you can do everything 10 times as fast on the full website as you can do inside of the app. The app is designed for, I'm going to open it up, check something real quick, and I'm not going to do anything creative. Okay, So I was one of those guys who, as a content developer and producer, I needed more, more horsepower behind the applications I was using, and I needed the full website. I needed the full website, not the mobile website. If I tried to pull up the full website in my iPad, if I tried to pull up my full website in a Nexus, I don't care what you guys are using, tablet-wise, the website experience on tablets, it sucks. It just flat out sucks. You may be in denial about this, <laughs> but, but it sucks. Compared to a laptop, the browser experience on a tablet sucks. So if you, if you can get it all done with apps, the tablet is for you. Or if there's certain apps on the tablet you absolutely can't live without, stick with the tablet. If you prefer the full websites, and you prefer uh, being able to do anything you would normally do on a browser, then the Chromebook is for you. And in many times, you can find this, this happy medium between the two, depending on what you're trying to do. But uh, once I sold my Apple iPad and I went to my Chromebook, I made I was 10 times as productive. I could do everything for my business because I could do, my, I could do all my mail, I can do my Google+, I can do my WordPress hosting, I can do all of my websites update, my accounting software, everything can be done now on my service through a browser. So in a nutshell, that's my tablet versus Chromebook thing. You do the Chromebook test if you're interested in a Chromebook, and then you ask yourself, can I live without these apps and migrate to a browser only? And, and I ended up in the Chromebook when it came to the end of that.